What's going on, dudes? This is Mary the Gamer. And welcome back to another FNAF reaction. Are you guys subscribed yet? Once again, we need to get to a million this year. That is the goal. We've got to get another plaque on that wall, bro. We're going to be reacting to a little FNAF animation done by JGems. Just came out yesterday. Had no idea until people were posting in my Discord. Also, go follow our Discord if you haven't already. I think the link's in the description. If not, it is also a little link on my channel. So this animation is titled The Malhair Virus. I'll read the description real quick, okay? Also, this is canon to the JGEMS universe. So it says, meet the Malhair, also known as Glitch Trap. This little goofball is a bundle of energy, figuratively and literally. But don't let his charism fool you. I like that word. Fall for one of his schemes and you'll find your tech pulverized. Engage at your own risk. Ooh, I can't wait. Drop everything, go be link in the description down below so you can check everything out for yourself. Obviously, along with JGEM's channel, please go subscribe. The guy's almost at 700,000 subscribers. Let's help him get there. But also subscribe to me if you haven't yet. I swear to, I swear, don't unsubscribe. Someone can play on this in three, two, one. Why? It was so quiet. Malhair interview. Description. The Malhair is, is a self-aware resident virus derived from the remnant of William Afton. Its appearance resembles a bunny-like animal costume. Close to the one featured throughout the Fazbear's pizza franchise. Unlike the original, this bunny's skin is composed of it. I was reading that. I know I'm slow. I'm a slow man. So uh, hello? Is the Malhair with us? He's talking to computers. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, that's kind of cool. Do you prefer to be called William? Oh! To glitch trap the purple man. I've gone by many names, but I have never heard of Malhair. Malhair. It's what my coworker called you. I'm flattered to hear I'm the topic of interest between you and your friend. I don't have any friends in here. <laughs> I'm completely alone in the void. Then you should save this time we have together. And for the record, she's not my friend. <laughs> don't worry, I sense it. The electricity. You can trust me. I mean, just look at me. Listen, I have a job to do. So uh, I don't trust mind, him. Can we proceed with the questions? Uh, I don't know. My schedule's kind of tight at the moment. And your friend wasn't very nice to me before. Well, I'm not my friend. I speak for myself. So, can we please try this again? <laughs> you do admit it. She is your friend. I, I knew it. I, I tell you, these eyes see all. Look, I know you were a very clever man at some point in your miserable Afton life. So, can we cut the crap and get on with the interview? <laughs> Why so uptight today? Very well. Ask what you wish. Thank you. All right, first question. This is sick. Know what happened to your physical body? Oh, that thing is running under six feet of rubble. I'm not sad about it, though. It was only slowing me down. Can I get an approximate where and when this happened? I don't think you want that. What's left of it, anyway? It's been mutilated beyond recognition. Okay. I still want to know where it is. <laughs> How did you manage to transfer your entire functioning consciousness into the virtual world? <laughs> a lot of pain and a lot of work. Do you know roughly how much processing power it takes to store a fraction of the human brain? A lot. I was limited as to what I could save, but I made do. So, what exactly did you save? Only the important things. I got a stalk and kill a man. Manipulation and psychological torture. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I get too excited now. Hey, why <laughs> all these precautions, Freeman? I'm just a friendly artificial intelligence trying to read the world around me. Friendly. Firewall. Pretty good, isn't it? Yes, it is impressive. High integrity, with a security key that changes every few seconds. Impossible to breach. Well, almost impossible. What? You really should check your supplies next time. The code for the firewall was developed at Fazbear Robotics, written by a man named Cody Kenneth, but designed by a man named William Afton. <laughs> Is he going into the endoskeleton? 
Dude. Wow. That was so cool. So this is canon to the the whole J Gems universe, I guess, with the interviews and all that stuff. Ah! He will, huh? I figured much. He's freaking tampering with that damn animatronic. Okay, man. Oh, I love J Gems animations. They're always so, so intricately done. Uh, the animation itself is great. The voice acting, loved it. I loved how he introduced himself in the whole interview process. Like, there was just a line of computers. It was super quiet, you know, and he's trying to get a hold of him. And then he, he called him Malhair, nothing happened. But then he called him William Afton, and boom! Like, everything just... Oh, I was so... So creepy. The script for it was very, very well done. I loved how he did it, and I'm excited to see what happens with this one. Also, for some reason, why was I thinking of Security Breach there, where you know how he lost his body to the fire, but he uploaded himself to as Glitch Trap. Then he went and put himself in that Bonnie suit. Whose rotting corpse was that? He, I, I, there's no way. It, I don't know, dude. I don't know why I'm just thinking about this now. It may have been already talked about. I'm just very slow, like I said, but hey, dude. Regardless, this animation was so good. Well, guys, that was another animation done by J Gems, part of his J Gems universe, and that one was titled The Malhair Virus. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, whatever they go, be a link in the description down below so you can check everything out for yourself. Obviously, along with J Gems' channel, please go subscribe. Also, if you haven't checked out his interviewed series, man, you're way behind. You need to check them out. They're so good. So like it if you enjoyed, subscribe for some more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. So bye.